So here I have two RJ45 splitters that I just made myself. Uh, it took a while to make because they're not easy, a bit fiddly, but um, you know they work, or at least in some way. So you can see on the main trunk, if you will, the trunk connector. I don't know if you want to call that. You can see it's in the T568A layout. Okay, so that's can't see it, um, you know, striped green, green, striped orange, blue, striped blue, orange, striped brown, brown, okay, when you're looking at it from the, uh, can, uh, the contact side. And that's the same, same as this one here, and then over on this end, you can see, um, then I've split out the two separate the two pairs separately. So in this one, you can see, you know, it's striped green, green, striped orange, blank, blank, uh, orange, and then blank, blank. And then over here, I've got striped blue, blue, striped brown, blank, blank, brown, and then blank, blank. So the whole point of this um, is to allow me to connect two uh, IP cameras to the NVR via two separate like uh, two separate ports on the back of the NVR but using one cable and the reason I want to do that is because I've got a conduit that runs under the ground to a pole that has one camera on it um, but I want to add another camera and I don't really I don't really have the ability to get another um, Cat5 cable or whatever, even Cat6 uh, cable through that conduit without digging up the whole thing, which obviously I don't want to do. So the you can kind of imagine this coupler here as being a sim, sim, uh, symbol for a very long run of a of this cable. Okay, so we're going to put that together. And so the whole point is, the whole idea, at least in my head, is, you know, you connect one camera to this end, oh, one camera to this, one camera to that, and then you uh, over at the NVR side, you connect, you know, that to one of the PoE ports on the NVR, which is over here, and then the other port, uh, the other plug to the other port. And so the two cameras that I'm going to be doing this test on are the two you see here, the, uh, the left one, Patio, and the right one, North, just so we know. And those are plugged, so that's port 1 and 2, respectively, on the back of this NVR here. Uh, so port 1 is the pink, port uh, 2 is the orange. And of course that runs out through that bundle and it goes to this patch panel. Pink patio, orange north, alright? And you can see obviously everything's working just fine. And... Um, Again, these are just the two cameras I'm using for testing. These are not the cameras that are on the pole. Um, and obviously, each of these cameras has their own dedicated um, cable that runs the whole length. So there's none of this splitting at the moment. And of course, everything's working fine. So the theory as to um, why this, this idea of mine is going to work, and by the way, the theory is correct, is because um, these cameras, which is one of them there, uh, only have a 10 slash 100 megabit per second uh, Ethernet interface. And um, you can actually run up to 100 megabits per second on only two pairs uh, instead of four pairs. So, you know, like two pairs here, like as long as they're actually the pinout is correct, which it is, um, you can run it on two pairs instead of the four pairs that's actually in this plug. Okay, um, and you can also run, per the 802.3 AF standard, you can actually run the PoE to those devices also oh, only over two pairs. So in theory, this is supposed to work. And if all the standards are being followed and met, then it will work. All right, so I'm going to start this test. So I've just decoupled the two splitters at the moment. And I've already unplugged the two cameras uh, the patio and the north cameras from the uh, NVR. So, therefore, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is plug this in instead. So, the the 
uh, which was this way. So the, the plug with the orange and green pairs will go into the patio camera and the plug with the blue and brown pairs will go into the north. So let's get that plugged in. Oh, it's very difficult because I don't really have much room to play with with the length of this uh, de-jacketed end. So, eh. okay, in, okay. Now, because the, I don't really have much room to play with these short cable, I'm actually going to put in a couple of there, and then I'm going to put in um, this cable. It's a Cat 6 cable, this grey thing, but it again doesn't matter. I'm just going to turn these fans off just in case wire ends up in one of them. So, plug this in here, alright. Oh, dude. Sorry, I'm not really holding the camera too well. I just want to relieve any pulling force on these, right? Because I haven't actually had time to put glue inside the plugs to stop you know, potentially being pulled out of the pin downs. Okay, so, put that there. And now I need another coupler. Put that here. Actually, I'm just gonna put this here. I will put the wire under this switch so that it doesn't get so sorry, this is extremely difficult to do with one hand. It's actually quite frustrating. Gravity sucks. Okay, there we go. No pulling occurring. Alright, put this in here. Dude. Make sure it's an octopus. Hopefully that doesn't... Alright, so now what I'm going to do is, of course, I'm going to unplug the patches here so I can use my own patch cables. Alright, so the blue one's going to be patio, and the black one is going to be... Actually, no, I'm going to use another one that's blue, because that one's got a broken pin. Alright, so this is a darker blue. You can see it's kind of thinner, too. That'll be north. Alright, so let's go. Oh, I need actually two more couplers. Damn. All right, so we got a coupler for this one. And then a couple for this one. I need to move this whole thing over here just to stop pulling from a curve. Alright, I really should have glued these before I did the video, anyway, whatever. Alright, so here's the... Alright, so I said the patio is this light blue, and patio was orange and green. So, orange and green here. Then the other one, north. So, it's connected. However, what you'll find is, on the back, absolutely nothing is happening. Um, there is no lights at all. And so there's no link, even though there should be. Interesting thing is, is if I actually unplug... So, we can establish now this is not working, okay? Even though the theory says it should work, because these NVRs, actually, I looked at the data sheet, um, they do support, they do support the um, 802.3 AF standard. Okay, so uh, it should be powering the cameras over only two pairs, but it's not. So what I'm gonna do now is unplug these, which is gonna be difficult, because again, not much room to play here. Okay, there's one. Oh, you sicko. It's 
so hard to do this. I'm just going to unplug that camera underneath so I can get underneath here. All right, you're free. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to see if it actually, if the cameras will power up and provide a link. Um, even though we're not, it's not going to connect to the NVR because I have no way of doing that using an Ethernet switch, which is that thing there. But I just want to see if this whole splitter thing actually works, okay? So, the switch is already on. It's already a light on there on the bottom left. We're going to carefully... Put this here, I need to stop the pulling, okay? I'm going to plug these into the two PoE ports, there's four, but I'll put it into port one and port two. So as a keep the consistency, we'll put the patio, which is the orange and green in the number one, okay? All right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna turn the flash off. So we're pushing it in. Ah, what's that we got? We got PoE is on, the top light is PoE, the bottom light is the link, and the very bottom light, which isn't going to turn on, is, um, is a indicator for gigabit, which of course, as I mentioned, it's not going to have because A, we're only using two pairs, and so um, gigabit is not possible. And the camera doesn't support gigabit anyway. I'm going to push the next one in, all right. Therefore, and of course, the light, the link light flashing on and off at the start is the, part of the camera's boot up process. So, but you can see the PoE light stays on, which means there's no issue with the wire. Um, it seems to me that, I have no idea why this is, is that these NVRs require all four pairs to power a camera, which is actually able to be powered by only two pairs, which is exactly, not this one obviously, but the ones out the, the patio on the north, which are at the back, uh, we can see that they're online, okay? And like I said, I'm not going to be able to view the feeds because the IP address matches the internal IP address of the NVR, which uh, I'm not going to be able to do at this very moment. Uh, but anyway, we can see clearly that I don't know if it's a problem with the NVR. I mean, it seems to be because as it mentions in the data sheet, it supports the 802.3 AF standard. It doesn't mention if it only supports um, mode A or mode B. Therefore, one can conclude that it supports both, right? Because those are the um, those are part of that standard. So I'm not sure why this is happening. But it's also I also did this test by the way. I did this test before I made this video, okay? And I also tested it on the bottom NVR, which is a, actually a 16 port NVR. Same, same um, lineup, just the 16 port one. This is an 8 port one. And the same thing happened. I got the same result. And of course I tried it with the two cameras that are out the front, which is this, the other patch panel. So this is not an issue with the camera, or, or one particular camera or one particular NVR. This seems to be by design. So this is a little while later, but um, I've plugged the cameras back into the NVR and that's all running now. Um, as you can see, there they are. But I just wanted to show you something to prove that I'm not insane and I know what I'm talking about. So this is a 10 slash 100 megabit per second switch. It has no gigabit capabilities, okay? And we're going to, if you look at the, um, um, what do you call it, the ports, you'll actually see that pins 1, 2, 3, and 6 only have an actual uh, conductor in them, okay? And that's because, again, um, 100 megabits per second only requires two pairs, so four conductors. And um, so why would you add all these other conductors? There's just no need for them to have done that when they built this switch. And um, if you actually look at those pins, one, three, one, two, three, and six, it's the same pins on my splitter ends, okay? You got one, two, three, and six. One is striped green, Two is green, uh, three is striped orange, at least on this one here, and six is solid orange, okay? 
So there's nothing wrong with the way I've done it. It's completely the standard. The wiring uh, and pinouts are correct. And it, regardless, um, as I saw, we saw in my previous video, the cameras got power and they got a link when I connected them to this switch, which means that it's just something to do with these NVRs that won't, they're simply not following the standard, in my opinion. Anyway.